morning, good afternoon, how are we all doing? My name is Jacob. Welcome back to or welcome to Tired Reads if you are new here and welcome to week the first weekend reading vlog of the year. Or is it a vlog? That may be a lie, but we got some good books for this weekend. I'm so pumped. It is Thursday, but my weekend has turned into a four-day weekend because the weather's going through it. There, um, it's currently raining, and then it's gonna turn into ice, and then it's gonna turn into snow. You good? No, you're not. You're not, baby, and it's okay. You're not good, and it's okay. You don't need to be good all the time. It's okay to not be good. So, work was closed because of school. <laughs> Love being a teacher, perks. As for what I'm reading, I am reading the final book in the Inheritance Trilogy of the Kingdom of Gods, and I am so much enjoying it. I'm so pumped. I'm on currently page 925 of this bind up, so I have no idea what that is in the book. And this third one we are following the i don't know exactly how to say his name i see sahi sai it's s-i-e-h i believe um but he's the god of childhood and he made a deal with two of the royals like children yeah and he lost his mortality or he gained it i still don't know he lost his he gained mortality so now he's like currently aging and going through that which he never he always stayed as a child because He's got childhood. So, and there's also like murders happening, beginning to happen. So I'm excited to read this. Then I may even just continue to read the novella at the end to finish this bind up. Up, I'm so pumped. It's really enjoying it. I love her writing. And yeah, I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna do that. It meets my snacks that you see here. Then I'm gonna read something else. I don't know yet what that something else is. Let's get let's get cozy. Let's let's get into it. Is there anything else I want to say? No, I don't think so. So let's, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and read. Time takes a toll on everyone. They say time is merciless, even we for us to change. Time. I'm stressing out, I can't figure out what to say, oh time, just give us time, time, looking back on pictures and I find it hard to see, you and myself in places where we used to be, oh time, we got older babe, and I wanna stay with you. Don't get time for games. Now what you wanna do? Tell me now if you will go with me all the way. Every night, every day, promise will never change. Are you gonna It is 11.20 at night, and it is 
storming because the winter storm has arrived. It sounds like rain, but I think that's supposed to turn into ice and then snow. And I just, I'm just hoping the power doesn't go out. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with it. I just want, I just wanted to relax in the morning tomorrow. And that involves electricity. It's a very first world problem, but here we are. Anyways, um, let me, let me prop you up for a hot minute. I guess we're not getting propped up. So, <laughs> I read 94 pages of this today, and I am uh, like 200-ish, 290 pages from finishing it. So I'm gonna finish it in this vlog. This is, this is, yeah, this is getting done. This is getting done. I'm so happy. So Sai, I'm not sure, I still don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but he is like, he escaped from Sky, the king, this, the royal palace, I guess, and he is now, well, he like helped this like girl who was like, Scavenging, 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 scav, 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 I don't know the word. It's late. And he defended like some people who were attacking her. And so he wanted to return the favor to like appease his needs. So now he met an old brother of his that they don't have a great past. And now he's trying to make up for it. He's making him go do something to aid him and his business. And that involves him going to talk to the city where Yen is from originally before she turned into a goldish. Um, so yeah, but I'm really enjoying it. I love a good N.K. Jemison book. It is making me like want to read reread the first one and reread The Broken Earth or the fifth season, the first one. But yeah. I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully I wake up to power. I guess you'll find out, but I'm going to bed. Good night. I took a stroll downtown this evening when I heard music through the night The same old songs that I heard the night before So I started running So I wouldn't be too late I didn't think that I would ever see your face again But I was wrong Yeah, I was wrong was jumping, singing songs, and dancing through the night. I didn't think that I would ever see your face again, but I was wrong. I can't believe we're dancing in the street. All I ever wanted was to get close to you. Now I'm burning up in your atmosphere. I can't feel my feet. very much enjoying it. I'm very much enjoying Saeed's um, characterization, his debacle or his debate with humanity and mortality, like his reckoning with the evils or the bad wrongs that he has done. Yeah, it's just very like transportive. I feel very immersed into the world. And the only thing that like I've had trouble with this whole series is like I think it's just a personal thing that like I keep like not fully understanding certain things so like a lot of the lore of the gods and the creations and stuff 
and a lot of the names just keep escaping me and there's a glossary but like that's so much work to flip back and forth and back and forth not today so i think i have like 150 200 ish pages left let me double check again yeah roughly 200 pages so i want to finish it this weekend i think i'm going to but yeah other than that I'm gonna go work out a little, do a little Pilates, and I should film like a little, another video that I wanna film, but maybe that'll be next week's problem. I think that might be next week's problem. But here's to working out and then showering. Woot woot. Before I forget though, I also like, can you tell I'm out of breath? <laughs> For no reason, because I've just been sitting here. Um, and I think that's because I'm feeling a little anxious. So I'm heeding my therapist's advice and work working out to push that out physically. So hopefully that works. So you know, I drinking coffee heightens it, but then it makes me work out. It's a catch twenty two, but it gets the job done. So shout out to that. Yeah, I just wanted to add that in. I did it. I have finished the Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin, including the novella. <sighs> I love it. I love it. I wasn't the best, like, conclusion, but the novella did help with that, and I really enjoyed the novella. So that follows. Let me brush my teeth, then we'll come back and do this. Brush my teeth, put on some lotions, and <sighs> y'all, this was such a good time. So in this last one, this novella we follow a newborn god that is the three have created to fill the void that oh, that's a bit of a spoon to fill the void that was left at the end of the third book and we follow them as they grow into themselves and find out what they are meant for and yeah it was a really good time and so like the writing was fun it didn't match like the other ones because it's following like a newborn god so it's very childlike written Banner and it's being told to you, so it's using second person a lot, which was a lot of fun. Overall, this series is like a five star. I do like already want to pick it back up and like read it again. I'm just not sure if I'm a fan of how it wrapped up. I do think the novella helped a little, but not my favorite conclusion to a trilogy, but I still enjoyed it. Does that make sense? So, yeah, I feel so accomplished. This whole thing is done. It's been sitting on my TBR for like four years now. It's done. So, for that, I'm going to try and finish one more book tonight. It is 11.30, so I don't know how far I can get, but it should be easy. That is Wake, The Hidden History of Woman Led Slave Revolt by Rebecca Hall and illustrated by Hugo Martinez. I'm not exactly sure what's happening in this, but it's a graphic novel, so I'm sure it will fly fast, and the art style is kind of pretty. That's all I have to say on that. I'm just happy this is done. Like, I feel so accomplished. I know this was three books in three and a half in one but like to not have this on my tbr anymore on my goodreads like wow but yeah the second book i just really really loved it i don't know what it was now i kind of want to reread the first one to see if i just wasn't ready for it i think i'm better now. i think i could figure it out and enjoy it other than that what else do i have to say oh, the thing with family i was supposed to do tomorrow got canceled so like praise up i didn't want to talk to anyone i didn't want to see anyone so now i get to stay home and do nothing but with that said let's dive into this and then i will pick up far from the light of heaven tomorrow by tay thompson so let's get into it <laughs> It has been a productive day. I've done so much today. I mean, physically, I haven't done much, but I've done a lot. So today I finished two books. First one I finished is Wake, The Hidden History of Woman Led Slave Revolt by Rebecca Hall and illustrated by Hugo Martinez. I really enjoyed this. It was really interesting to learn about how so many revolts were led by women because people kept underestimating them and 
their power and their drive and motivation that they would have. I also really enjoyed like the blending of following Rebecca in her findings and discoveries of all this information as well as then weaving in fictionalized stories based off of all the information that she had to tell some of the stories of the Forgotten Woman. The only thing I didn't like is the font. <laughs> the font was so hard to read. It was like tiny and then I- nothing wrong with a good time with something Roman, you know? That's all. So I really enjoyed this. I highly re recommend this. I think it like recently just came out too. Yeah, it came out in 2021. If you haven't, I recommend you go check this out. It was a quick, short read. It, uh, I don't know if it really, like, hmm. Because thankfully, the, uh, I've taken a history class in college and it had talked about the slave trade and the enslaved people more in depth, almost to the likeness of this. I mean, like, some of the facts that are included in this. But if you have not been fortunate enough to have an education like that or a knowledge of anything like that, I highly recommend this just to like open your eyes on it and to implore you to do further research on it. Really enjoyed this. And the book that I literally just finished like five minutes ago is Far From the Light of Heaven by Tay Thompson and multiple things. One, I didn't realize this was like a locked room mystery. I was reading the author's note and he said that he was originally inspired by the murders in the Rue Mort, a poem by Edgar Allan Poe, or a story by him. And so he basically wanted to do a locked room mystery in space, and he achieved that. I really enjoyed it. I don't know what I'm going to rate this. I think I'm going to have to check in, go through a call pile. I feel like it's close to like a 5. I just don't know if it's a 5. I just don't know. Maybe a 4.5? I don't know, but I really enjoyed it. I loved the characters. I loved the writing, and I loved the um, storytelling element and the way jumping around so much. Like, I read the back of the book but like for some reason it didn't click what was happening in my head so when he so when I read the author's note and it said all the um stuff about the locked room mysteries it's late at night my brain's shutting down for work tomorrow anyways we followed this girl named Michelle Campion I keep calling her champion but she is in charge of this ship that is carrying a thousand passengers into a new planet to populate and test and all that stuff. She's like second in command because the AI is in charge and so when they arrive at their destination she is woken up to do her procedural stuff and she finds 30 people are dead and she doesn't know why or how or who and she assumes it is the AI and therefore quarantines the ship to send out a distress signal and in comes our a detective from the planet that they are about to inhabit, uh, Blood Sruthin, Rashid Finn comes up and helps to interrogate with a robot personality that was Salvo it was fun and the author's note as well. This was if you're reading this, read the author's note. Very enlightening. It talked about he managed to include Afro spiritualistic leanings, um, because there's this like alien being in it, but like not your typical alien that like you see in media. And so I can see now and appreciate the Afro spiritualistic leaning and it makes sense because it was talking about a lot of ancestral planes and how your ancestors go back a lot and it's all about that and not living in this certain space time but how time can overlap and all that such and so she was the child of Michelle's uncle which is just her godfather from her father's best friend her name was Joke, and she was, I really enjoyed her personality. She was fun. Yeah, it was overall just a really good time. I mean, I read it all day. I couldn't put it down. I really enjoyed it. Maybe it is a five star. I think that's the decision for tomorrow. So far, I'm killing it. So far, I've read three and a half books. That's all I read. <laughs> yeah, I read three and a half books. I really enjoyed it. So, so far I've read Kingdom of Gods and The Waking Kingdom by N.K. Jemisin, book three, and the following novella of the Inheritance Trilogy. Then I went, read Wake by Rebecca Hall, a story by Hugo Martinez, and Far From the Light of Heaven by Tate Thompson. I was just gonna keep this to a weekend thing, but I have like two more books that I want to read before I start reading stuff this other video that I plan on and so I think if I get that done by Wednesday I'll be good. I might keep it going 
the other book I want to read is Pet by Equipiament. Equipiament. Uh, Equip. I need to see it. I don't have my phone. I'm recording on my phone so I can't see it. But Pet, and I have the audiobook for that, so I might listen to that tomorrow while I commute to and from work. And I also would like to read. So far, Dead Dead Girls by Nika Nikessa Fia. It's just so far away. I mean, I thought this was gonna be more science fiction. I mean, it was. I just wasn't ready for the thriller aspect. I mean, I got my fantasy covered, nonfiction, my phone. I got science fiction, so I got that and thriller. But I'm like, tem okay, <laughs> I'm tempted to give this five stars because I would love to do um, on the shelf for a good time or a long time with it with him and read a couple more of his other stuff because I really enjoyed the writing. But I'm like, do I just amend my own rules and do it anyways, even if I give it five, four stars or four and a half? I have to think about that. <laughs> Another thing is I saw on Twitter today of uh, this, um, like, Libra, your weekend, weekend Libra or whatever. I'm a Libra and it was talking about, like, being consumed with books. I'm gonna pop up the screenshot right here right now and I just laughed because I, I felt like I read so much in these three days, four days. And I was just like, wow, maybe star signs are a thing. <laughs> maybe they do mean something. Probably not. I mean, maybe. So I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to send up my thoughts for Mr. Tate Thompson. It's good time. It's good time. And I will pick back up with you tomorrow, hopefully with some thoughts on some books. Peace. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's bad time. I need to go to bed. What's up? It is Tuesday, my dudes, um, and I've just been chilling, not been doing much, edited this video, started editing this video, so I hope you're enjoying it so far. I got three things I want to talk about. One is I'm reading Pet right now by a quick Meze. I am very much enjoying it. I was a little confused at first, but that's solely because I was listening to audiobook at like 8 a.m. on my way to work, so I was a little lost. But I am enjoying it now, so this like, this girl's mom is a painter, and she paints this creature, and then she falls on it, and there's razor blades, so it cuts her, and her blood burns the monster through a portal, and the monster's name is Pet. I believe our main character, Jam, is non verbal she I believe that's what she said so they sign a lot um so that was kind of hard to listen to because it was like hard to get the distinction but in writing it's very easy because it's italicized and Pet is saying that they're on a hunt for something or for someone and that someone is her best friend so she is she has to do that because she, um well one she promised her parents that she would send her the pet pet back but she did not do that and then Pet can only like like they need a human to help hunt because they can't go everywhere the humans can, but apparently this has happened before with her mother and she, the mom, mom promised her dad that this would never happen again, but here we are. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm like 40% in I think. I have an um, ebook from the library as well and I'm gonna keep chugging along with that. And if I finish that tonight, then it's more Wednesday. I'm gonna try and read Dead Girls, Dead Dead Girls, and this may be the last book. But I say that with a caveat because I just got book mail. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, before we get into this though, I want to take some time to um, talk about the injustice that's happening in Minneapolis. So I just saw that um, they did arrest the killer of Amir Locke, who died from a no-knock warrant coming in and shooting. Um, he was a young African-American male, black male. And it was, it was just repulsing that a few years later, this same thing has happened again from Breonna Taylor to this now. Um, so especially that it's happening during a month where we should be celebrating and uplifting a lot of voices um, of Black voices and their stories and their journeys and their acceptance in life. Um, it is a shame that this tragedy is happening. So I did some research this morning. Um, on my own so I implore you to do your own and form your own opinions but down in the description there are a few links really like the NAACP and then there's like a section where you can figure out more of like whatever topic you want and the human rights campaign um, for those that are in the United States and if there's any other campaigns or um, petitions or anything you want me to be informed of or you want just people to be informed of I know there's only like 60 of us 
you know, subscribed, but it takes one small step. You know, once you get that ball rolling, it, it can, you know, and you never know who's listening, so I don't give up the fight. Um, even though we thought we, you know, there was justice had, I mean, not really any justice but has had, but I just don't want to be on the sidelines of history saying, wish I could have done better. That's me personally, and I hope you take time to read more on it and do that. Um, so those things will be down there. And again, if you have anything you want me to be aware of, um, just comment down below and I'll add those links to the, the description and they, yeah. So with that said, we are going to awkwardly transitioned into an unboxing, but I wanted to bring that up. I wish I would have brought that up sooner in the video, but um, just be aware, be alert, and don't stop fighting for justice because everyone deserves to live and everyone deserves to sleep in their own apartment and have a fear of being shot at to never wake up again by the hands of someone else. With all that said, let's start with our book of the month box. I just, this feels like such a weird transition now. Maybe I should have started with the unboxing. Okay. But we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Because in this box I have some, ooh! <laughs> oh, how fun. Oh, that's right, I became a BFF with books. <laughs> I'm a tote. Because <laughs> I bought 12 books. <laughs> so, it's a quality tote. Um, but in this book box, I have two books. This book is the actual February Picks and Us Vladimir by Julia May Jonas. I wasn't gonna pick this because I didn't, I thought this was a romance, but this is like a thriller, I believe, if I, if I remember correctly. An English professor caught in a scandal and then the wife is trying to go through that and she finds herself in her own scandal. So that's the battle on that. Um, and then the other one is Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead. This is like one of those books where I heard about and I just can't remember. Oh, that's right. There's a heist, shakedowns, and ripoffs set in Harlem, 1960s. So yeah, there's like a heist going on. There's um, a cruise. I'm going to a little down family moment, but I'm very excited for this. So that's why I'm like, oh, do I add this? Is, there's just so many books I want to read. But with that said, I also got another package of from my sister's pre-orders from my local indie bookstore and this has taken forever because they were going to ship all three because i ordered two pre-orders and one <laughs> already i'm back sorry family came home and i had to say hello and then goodbye as they left again so any who's where were we oh yes yeah. so i um ordered these books like from my local indie bookstore and it just took a while because it, i ordered two pre-orders and like a non a book that's already released and they were waiting to ship all three together, but here we are. So the first one is is Binti by Nita Okafor. I believe I didn't realize it was this tiny. <laughs> so I might even read this. It's so short. I believe this is a series. I forget what it's about, but it's a gorgeous cover. Uh, the, uh, I need to stop. I'm I'm like all these books. I'm like let's just add it. Let's just keep adding it. Let's. Let's just keep, keep adding it. But this is the book that was my pre-order and it is The Battle of Linguistic Mages by Scott O'More. I remember Ooh, that is some tiny font. And it's like a VR game and they're using linguistics as a battle mechanism. But yeah, I am very excited to read this from Anticipated Reads. Go check out that video if you want to know more. That's me little book haul. I think I'm going to try and finish Pet and then uh, see what to do next. What time is it? But yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what's happening next. We'll stick to We'll see. Probably I'm going to read, but here we go. Here we go. Hello, good morning. It is, oh wow, it's only 8.50 in the morning. Okay, anyways, I'm here to wrap up this vlog. I've read some good books. I was gonna read one more book, either Dead Dead Girls or Binti, 
but I just don't have time. I ran out of time for this video to go out, so but they will stay on the TBR for later in the month slash year. I finished Pet last night, yesterday, by a quick meze, and it was so so good. It talked about so many things. So it's basically this world where they've eradicated, where they believed they eradicated all the monsters and those are all like child abusers, like bad people, like and bad things like that, I guess. That's a bad explanation of that. Um, our main character, Jam, brings this monster, monster hunter, through a painting that her mom made and named Pet. And together they find a monster who has been abusing someone. They This has been thought to be eradicated by the angels. And it was a very interesting story. And I really enjoyed the themes talked about in it and the dilemma of like, at the end, where I was like, do we kill him? Do we let him survive? And like make an example out of him. And I thought that was very interesting. I really enjoyed the audiobook. Loved the narrator. Great job. I want to buy more of the books that he, that the narrator narrated. <laughs> But I, I haven't decided if it's like a four or a five star. I don't know yet. I'm kind of thinking four only because of the beginning, but I really enjoyed it. So it might be. I feel like I'm giving out too many five stars in life. But that's okay. You know, I'm enjoying the books then. That's what that means. So let's just um, wrap this up. <laughs> so the first book I read was the Kingdom Kingdom of Gods by M.K. Jemison, book three in the Inheritance Trilogy, and I gave this five stars. It was so good. We followed the god of childhood and tricks, trickery, <laughs> trickery, I guess, um, and all that. Then I read the November novella that followed it, The Awakened Kingdom, which follows a newborn um, god that is trying to find their place in the world. From there, I read Wake, The Hidden History of Woman-Led slave, Slave Revolts by Rebecca Hall, illustrated by Hugo Mart Martinez. And this was such a good time. I loved it. Great art style, great weaving of fictional retellings of things to be presumed through research. Highly enjoyed this, especially if you do not know much about the transatlantic slave trade and the bringing of enslaved people into Americas, into the Americas, and how, where was I going with that? I don't know, lost my train of thought. And the travesties of African Americans throughout hundreds of years, really. And then I read Far From the Light of Heaven by Tate Thompson. I gave this five stars, though I'm still thinking it might be four stars, might be five, I don't know. Maybe 4.5. Maybe that's just the way to go. I really enjoyed this. So it's a, like a locked room mystery set in space. That's it. <laughs> that's all I got for you. And then I finally read Pet by Quick Game Meze, like I talked about. And that is four or five stars. So those are all the books I read this week. Um, I loved every one of them. Such a good time. I'm happy with everything that I picked up. And I hope this has set the trend for me has instilled the routine to continually pick up voices of not my own background and I hope you do that as well going further and not just waiting for trauma or specific months or holidays to pick up books that you that are outside of your own life. Um, that even goes beyond to like movies, shows, and music. So use art Use it to inspire you to learn so we don't repeat our past mistakes. So that is all I have for you today. Let's leave a, oh, what shall we leave? Let's leave, let's leave a paintbrush emoji for our pet. Let me know how you are doing down below. Let me, or you can let me know how your week is, how it was. Let me know how, what books have you been reading? Um, like I said earlier, there'll be links down below. And if you have anything else you'd like me to add or know about, please just let me know and I'll add them as they come. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, or whatever, and I hope you have fun celebrating whatever you may be celebrating. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.